Well, folks, it is the sad but brief ending to an era. I have warned you guys for a long time it was coming. Ever since I shut down the tilapia system, it's just been mothballed in here not doing anything. But I've got a kid working for me, and we're getting real serious about hopefully moving out to the country. And once we get there, hopefully I'll put the stuff back together, but probably not for a few years. Uh, anyway, so I've got him working on cleaning out this whole room, which, of course, the biggest part of the task is getting tanks out. So... We've got all the plumbing torn down. He's already got the bench all torn down. Uh, we'll just be working on uh, the next day he comes over here. We'll actually start on the outside, take all the siding off, pull the window out, as y'all remember I did years ago when I put it in here. We'll get these big tubs out of here and uh, have it broke down. I've got a guy that's interested in probably buying some, if not all, of the tubs and the plumbing and all that. So, um, anyway, yeah, just wanted to show that to you. And if I remember, I'll show you once it's all out and show you what this place used to look like. So just a little update, I got my helper back over here working today and you can see he's gotten after it. He's been here for all of an hour and he's got all the hardy board back off. Um, I guess when I put it back together last time I used screws so he said it went really quick, just zipping screws out all over the place. And I had screwed the framing in the wall, I screwed that, I remember that I did that on purpose so it'd come part easy. But I just came out here to, to check on him real quick to see and he's already <laughs> hauling the first tote. He's got the first one drug over there against the fence. so get that one out and we'll get these two out and then we'll get that window and everything put back in and this place will be just like it it was back in the day and here's number two you often see my uh, my helper here smarter than me I was just telling him when I put them in I left the the framing at the base of the window I left it in and it had a 2 by 4 that was sticking up and when I went to flip the tanks in, they would get hung up on a 2x4. And it gave me fits. Man, it was so hard trying to shove that tank in because it kept getting hung up on a 2x4. So he's smarter than me. He went ahead and took it out. So he's just real easy. Just slides them down, slides them out. Easy picking. So there goes number two. And uh, like I said, he'll get her set over there against the fence upside down so they don't get rained in. And then he'll get number three out of here. And then I think I mentioned her, but we're going to leave the floor framing in for now. I'm just going to throw a sheet of OSB on it. And... Um, then we'll be able to get our you know our air pump up there and all of our heating elements and anything that's of value. I'll get it all laid out here, kind of like a little store shelf. And then I've got some people thinking about buying it. And so they'll be able to come pick through and see what they want. Well, we got her all patched back up. <laughs> kind of. My, uh, my helper lacks a little bit on his carpentry skills. You know, we're kind of got a inch and a half gap there and <laughs> big gap up here. So... Anyway, I'm totally fine with it. We'll fix it. Uh, the point is, and I, and I told him that, you know, I said, it, it's fine. I wanted you to do it on your own. I wasn't standing out here watching over your shoulder. So you'll know next time. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure where you came up with that board, but that's not the original bottom piece of trim. I have no idea where that board came from. Um, but anyway, you know, I told him, I said, it's good that you attempted it. Uh, and now you know what you've done wrong. You, you, you can see what you've done wrong. I mean, he, you know, he didn't space his siding even. He didn't even measure it, and he didn't check it with a level. I watched him do it. Uh, but that's fine. But we got all the tanks out. We've got to put this little piece of, that little piece of trim that looks like that fence underneath there. It just goes right back across here. makes it look pretty and finished. Um, but we'll walk in here and take a look. So he's got all the totes all stacked up over there against the fence. And that barrel that's got... Uh, that was the swirl filter, I believe. It's got it just full of parts and pieces. The whole, all the manifolds are across here for the drain manifolds or return manifolds. Um, but we've got already started putting stuff back inside. Of course, it's still a mess, but it's obviously a work in progress. But at least they're all out of here now. So you guys remember this look. Hasn't got our interior put back together yet. That's fine. Just nails up. We'll take a couple minutes when we do it. But now I've got a little platform over there and I've started hauling stuff in here just to get it put back in here in dry storage. Um, but I've got a little platform there so I'll start getting all the for sale components laid out on it. So the guy that wants them, um, hopefully I can take a picture and send it to him and he can just say yes or no. If he doesn't want it, sell it to somebody else. But anyway, like I said, it's kind of a sad ending to an era, but it is not the overall end. When we get out to the farm and I get a place to do it, I will set up an aquaculture setup that will blow the socks off this one. So y'all just hang around. Might be a couple years, but we will get it done.